want to start coding but feel completely overwhelmed about where to begin? Maybe you've watched a few videos, tried opening a tutorial, and thought, this is too complicated for me. Don't worry, you're not alone. Every programmer you admire started exactly where you are right now. And here's the good news. Coding isn't about memorizing a bunch of commands. It's about learning how to solve problems step by step. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a clear roadmap that takes you from zero to building your very first projects without the confusion. Before we even touch code, let's get one thing straight. Coding isn't about typing random lines into a computer. It's about solving problems. Think of it like this. If coding was music, the code is your instrument. But the real skill is in creating songs that people enjoy. That's why the first step is setting a small, clear goal for yourself. Do you want to build a website, an app, automate boring tasks, or maybe even get into freelancing or landing a tech job? Pick one direction. Because once you know your goal, learning coding becomes way less overwhelming. And remember, just like learning guitar, you don't start by playing a full concert. You first learn a few chords, then slowly put them together into real music. Coding works the same way. All right, now let's set up your coding playground. First, download VS Code. Think of it like your notebook, but for code. This is where you'll be writing and running all your programs. Next, create a GitHub account. Imagine it as your personal coding diary. Every project you build gets stored there, so you can track your progress and even show it off to others later. Now let's test everything with the classic first step. Write a simple program that says, hello world. Why hello world? Because it's the easiest way to prove that your setup works. And honestly, it feels really good to see your very first program run successfully. And that's it, you're officially coding. Now comes the big question. Which programming language should you start with? Here's the truth. The best language depends on your goals. If you're interested in AI, data science, or automation, start with Python. It's super beginner friendly and widely used. If you wanna build websites or web apps, start with JavaScript. Every modern website you see runs on JavaScript. So here's my recommendation. If your goal is web development, begin with JavaScript. If you're more into problem solving and automation, go for Python. Remember, it's not about picking the perfect language. It's about picking one and sticking with it long enough to build real projects. Once you've picked a language, the next step is learning the fundamentals, the building blocks of coding. Here are the must-knows, variables and data types, containers where you store information like names, numbers, or true-false values, if else conditions, decision makers. For example, if it's raining, take an umbrella. Else, wear sunglasses. Loops. Instead of repeating yourself, you tell the computer, do this task 10 times. Functions arrow. Reusable mini programs. Imagine you're baking cookies. You don't write the recipe again every time. You just reuse the same steps. Arrays and objects. Collections of data. Like a shopping list, array, or a contact in your phone with name, number, and email, object. These are like Lego blocks. Once you know how each block works, you can combine them to build almost anything. Now here's where the real fun begins. Mini projects. Don't wait until you know everything to start building. The best way to learn coding is by doing. Start small. A to-do list app to track your tasks. A simple guess the number game where the computer picks a number and you try to guess it. A digital clock that shows the time on your screen. Or even a basic calculator. These may sound simple, but trust me, each one teaches you something new about coding. And here's the key. Don't aim for perfection. Just focus on finishing. Every small project you complete is like a stepping stone toward bigger ones. Once you've done a few mini projects, it's time to step into web development because nothing feels cooler than building your own website. Here's the simple recipe. HTML. This gives your site its structure. Think of it like the bricks of a house. CSS. 
This makes it look good. It's the paint, the design, the style. JavaScript, D-O-M. This brings your site to life. It's like adding electricity so buttons, forms, and animations actually work. And your very first project? A personal portfolio website. It doesn't have to be fancy, just your name, a short intro, and maybe links to your mini projects. The best part? You can actually show this to friends, family, or even future employers. That's when coding starts to feel real. All right, once you've built your first website, you're no longer a beginner. You're ready to go deeper. Here's what that looks like. React Arrow, a modern JavaScript framework that helps you build fast, interactive websites and apps. Databases, tools like MySQL or MongoDB that store your data. Imagine building a blog where posts don't disappear when you refresh. That's because of databases. APIs, ways for your app to talk to other apps. For example, using a weather API so your app shows real-time weather updates. Deployment. Finally, you'll learn how to put your project online for the world to see. It's like publishing a book. Your work is out there. This is the stage where your projects go from simple experiments to things people can actually use. Now here's the secret ingredient that turns you from someone who knows code into a real programmer. Problem solving. It's not enough to just build projects. You also need to train your brain to think logically. That's where platforms like LeetCode, HackerRank, or CodeForces come in. They give you bite-sized coding challenges that sharpen your skills. Think of it like going to the gym. Lifting weights every day makes you stronger, and solving small coding problems every day makes your logic sharper. You don't need to spend hours. Just two or three problems a day is enough to build that coding muscle over time. One of the most powerful ways to learn coding faster is to document and share your journey. Here's how you do it. Use GitHub to save all your projects. It's like your public coding portfolio. Post about what you're building on LinkedIn or Twitter. Even small wins like finishing a to-do app can inspire others. And if you're brave enough, teach what you learn through a blog or even short YouTube videos. Why? Because when you explain something, you understand it 10 times better. Plus, sharing your progress makes you stand out to employers, clients, or collaborators. It shows you're not just learning, you're growing and contributing. At this point, the only thing standing between you and becoming a coder is consistency. Even just one hour a day is enough to keep making progress. Keep a small coding journal, track what you learn, and don't get discouraged when you feel stuck. Remember this. Being stuck isn't failure, it's proof that you're learning. Every programmer, no matter how experienced, gets stuck. The key is to keep going. So let's quickly recap your coding journey. Start with the right mindset and set your goal. Set up your basics with VS Code and GitHub. Pick your first language, Python or JavaScript. Learn the core concepts, build mini projects, explore web development. Go deeper with React databases and APIs. Sharpen your skills through problem solving. Share your progress by documenting and teaching. And most importantly, stay consistent. If you follow this roadmap, in just a few months, you'll be building real projects and confidently calling yourself a coder. Now it's your turn. Drop a comment below and tell me, what's your very first coding goal? And if you want step-by-step -step project tutorials to help you along the way, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because this is just the beginning of your coding journey.